One love, y'all, because we're together. United, baby. Under one roof. Come on. In a house. Morning, guys. We are in Kansas City, Missouri. About to go to the Planet Comic Con. And it's snowing. I don't know if my camera can pick up on the snow. But it's snowing outside. So, uh, yeah, we were expecting rain. And we got snow. All right, guys, we're starting off with some breakfast. We've got all the little meals. So this is actually really nice at the hotel. We were able to start our day with breakfast. And then we'll head over to the convention center right after this. Ooh, okay. So now I know you guys can definitely see this. Snow is coming down. Whew. At least it's not really sticking that much. So hopefully it's not slick when we drive over to the convention center. I'm gonna go ahead and shut my camera off so it doesn't get wet. How's it sound? It's one love, y'all. Forever and ever. We are free. We are love. We're round. We're skinny. We're big. We're small. But we have love in our heart. What's up, guys? We made it to the Kansas City Planet Comic Con, and there is a ton of freaking people. Luckily for us, we've got our wristbands, so that means we can walk on in. I'm gonna take you guys to all the booths, possibly take you guys to the panels. We'll see how they feel about filming. I'll catch you guys inside. Hey, what's up guys? So I'm gonna go ahead and do a voiceover at this section. I had a great time at this show. I got to meet Justin Briner, who was the voice of Deku off of My Hero Academia. He was probably one of the nicest people I've ever met as far as semi-famous uh, people go. Um, I stayed in line for Christopher Sabat, uh, voice of Vegeta, voice of All Might, many, many, many other characters, of course. His line was the longest. Um, there was a lot of different people to come to this Comic-Con to be able to meet, to get autographs. Um, Monica Ryle, of course, was here. Um, unfortunately, Sean Schimmel was not here. He was in C2E2 last week in Chicago, um, but they did not come together to this con. Um, but I had an absolutely great time. In the footage, you can tell that there was a lot of pop vendors, um, some SH figures here and there. There was definitely some Mezco figures, which I have footage of that a little bit later on. Um, but not a whole lot of six scale. I was hoping to see more hot toys than what I did. Maybe stumble across some few uh, different hot toy grails that I'm currently hunting down. But I had such a fantastic time shopping the vendor floor. The way they had everything set up, of course it was extremely busy on Saturday, but I was able to pretty much get around uh, without very, you know, fuss or any hassle. There was a lot of different food vendors. Um, I think they had like Chick-fil-A and Papa John's and then they had local Kansas City street trucks to offer. So that was a lot of fun. I think the best part for us, um, especially my girlfriend who is not so interested in collecting action figures or pops uh, or any of this type of stuff, but um, we went to the panels and the panels were awesome. We got to sit through a My Hero Academia panel, which I'll go ahead and put some of that footage in here a little bit later on. Um, and we just had an absolute blast. So for that, uh, it was definitely worth it. But again, um, I hope you guys are enjoying this footage. Thank you so much for watching. Good deals, look at that. Dude, a hundred bucks. That's an awesome deal. Chucky doll, seventy dollars. See they got King Kong back there. Oh, this is sweet. Let's pack sound. Camel. 
that woman. Aquaman, 55. Wonder Woman for 60. Kind of need her back. So I sold Wonder Woman and I regret it. It's not the best figure, but now my Wonder Woman doesn't scale with the other figures. Oh well. Hulk. Oh well. Hulk for 80. Thank you. And if you want to keep the bag, I'm. Are you sure? Uh, I'll just Hulk for 80. Yes. Have a great day, guys. Well, that's pretty sweet. So that was Planet Comic Con, Kansas City, Missouri. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage. Before I let you guys go, let me show you what exactly I was able to pick up at the con. I'll also go over what prices we picked everything up for. First up, we have this behemoth right here. This is the Thor Ragnarok Hulk. Um, and sorry for the glare. So hopefully you guys are able to pick this up. I picked this up at a New York booth that was able to come down for the con. They only wanted $80 and uh, plus tax if you guys saw the sign. Because I was paying in cash, they actually did not charge me tax. So $80 for this pickup, I think he normally goes for $125. So that's an absolute score. Um, so I'm excited to add this to my Thor. I do have the Ragnarok Thor uh, that's from Mezco. So another Mezco in the collection. I'm happy to pick this one up. Next, I was able to pick up some Funko Grails that I was completely hunting for. And I'm happy to say I'm finally adding the Chocolate Boo and this actually has the sticker which some people care about the sticker I definitely care about certain stickers um, this was a pack south exclusive so to pick it up with the sticker hopefully that's picking up on camera you got the chocolate fat Majin Buu just a hilarious pop and I was able to pick it up for an absolute steal I coupled that with this metallic Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. This is a GameStop exclusive. This pop alone can go for $100 to $130. I was able to get both of these for $120. 
So an absolute score. They both wanted $175 for each of these. Got them down to $125. That booth, he was actually at the Tulsa show that I went to a couple weeks ago. So I met the, the guy who runs that booth. Extremely nice, so he cut me a good deal. I was gonna head back for some more pops, but we just ran out of time, so absolute win on this part. All right, so for one of the main reasons that I went to this con was to meet Justin Briner. I'm an absolute fanboy of My Hero Academia, so we got both of these autographed by him. Um, each one of these I did in different colors with paint pens. The first one says Deku is the name of a hero, and that's what the other one says. So I thought an orange and a light green, that looks really cool. I didn't just get two, I actually got three autographs from Justin Reiner. This one says, go beyond plus ultra. So absolutely freaking cool. We did this one in red. I just think the, red, uh, think the red really pops on this. So very cool to have all three of these in my collection now. And then the last two items that I picked up from this Comic-Con came from Chris Sabat. He had Majin Vegeta pops for sale. He actually wrote this one with Kakarot on there, so that one's really cool. My uh, my previous autograph, uh, Majin Vegeta Pop, uh, it was pre-signed, so I didn't actually watch him sign it live. And the other part is it doesn't say Kakarot, so that was really cool. He did it in kind of like this green slash blue. I think it pulls out the eye color and the Majin Pop, so I thought that was really cool. The other one is All Might. So let's tell you a real quick story, and then we're gonna wrap this video up. I got this pop at the con. I wasn't originally going to get an All Might signed by Chris Sabat, um, but I was in line. I was thinking to myself, oh, why didn't you bring it? Why didn't you bring it? So of course, I went and found this at a booth. I think I had to pay like 15 bucks for it. It is a common, so why not? Bought a protector for it, took it to Chris Sabat, and I originally wanted him to put on their, uh, you might have heard these words, villain, go beyond plus ultra um, when he fights the, the Momo and uh, he wins that battle. Uh, so that's what I wanted him to put on there. Now my, my paint pen, for some reason, I think either I was shaking it or I was nervous, but I had done it so many times that the tip actually fell out on top of the pop. So what Chris was able to do was to pretend like it was when he was bleeding. So if you guys are fans of the show and whenever he either hears Deku say something crazy or he's trying to hold his, his, uh, his muscle look for too long, blood will shoot out of his mouth. So on this pop, hopefully this will pick it up, it'll say, I am here. And instead of saying here, it goes, and he wrote out blood on the side of it. So it's like he's uh, he's bleeding. And then down below that, he has a signature. So that was just really cool. We did it in the two colors to kind of play that off, but still really cool to pick it up. Just a hilarious, funny story. I was able to tell Chris about how much of a fanboy I am of the show. I met him for the first time back in October and I was a diehard Dragon Ball Z fan. So now meeting him again, I'm an even bigger fan than I was before. And he thought that was really awesome. Plus, we took a selfie together, so that was pretty epic. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for my haul. That's gonna do it for Planet Comic Con. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the content, please give me a like. It really helps out my channel to continue to grow. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Plus Ultra! I, I, would, take, I would pay $10 for a scotch and coffee right now. <laughs> I would pay 11. I'll that is the to 11. Scotch and coffee. Anybody? Who's the taker? Oh I got a take. God.